guys look right there, today we clearly have a Supreme Mud Flap review. Now, real quick, before we get into this review, uh, please smash that like button and also, of course, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Now, I must say, personally, I would like the Supreme Mud Flaps a lot better if it had a box logo or if it was more noticeable, but still, the Supreme Moreno Valley California collab Mud flaps are clearly fire. As you can see, it says Supreme in big letters across the flap. Definitely an essential piece for anyone who is driving cross country or who is a trucker. Thank goodness I'm finally on the road to California. I've been trying to leave for three days and every time I try to leave Washington, something holds me back. First, I tried to leave before sneaker con Dallas to go there for two weeks and then I broke my ankle. Then I tried to leave, I made it 100 yards from my house and my sunroof just randomly exploded. Like, I don't know what happened. Honda was saying that it could have been a rock or something, but I really think they're BSing because my sunroof needed to be replaced, the motor needed to be replaced, the cables needed to be replaced. Every day they needed to order a new part. So I've been waiting for three days for my car to get fixed. And finally, I have a freaking sunroof. Come on, open up. Oh, I was worried for a second. Anyways, as you can see, I got a sunroof and I'm happy about it. But yeah, basically I took it in. They were like, oh, it's gonna take like an hour and a half. We're just gonna replace that sunroof and then they realized one of the motors or one of the sides when it retracts so they had to replace the motor and then they realized the cables were bad so they need to replace the cables there's all this bs and i'm like so happy to finally be on the road headed to california a right now i'm playing chris travis but i will probably be playing tupac the moment i hit the border and then for the rest of the trip i also may stop at the nike outlet and the adidas employee store so if you guys want to see that stay tuned we'll see what i cop i will probably cop nothing from the oh shoot is this the is it oh yeah this is it. okay i need to make my decision now and i'm deciding to go to the nike outlet real quick so let's see what we find okay so we are in here what are these the triple blacks they're so freaking thin though you can literally see the green on the insole i should have thought about that when designing this shoe Ooh, only 80 dollars for the triple blacks as you guys know i'm not a fan of jordans but i will say this pair right here is one of the only pairs i like i don't like how high they are but i love the deconstructed look especially in that natural cream colorway cream de la crème. i would honestly cop these if i didn't have three pairs of the sb huff blazers all right i'm on live and the viewers help me decide not to cop these uh Yes, it's a great deal, but... Okay, I don't know where I stopped recording, but I'm still on live. I met uh, someone who recognized me off YouTube named William. Shout out to you if you're watching this video. But basically, yes, that was a great deal for some fly knits. I'm not gonna lie. I probably uh, maybe should have copped, but... Um, I believe it was Robin and I know Ben Bennett mentioned it, but it's basically like, if you don't love it, then it's like, why cop it? Because at the end of the day, I have so many shoes at this point. I'm trying to get rid of shoes, and if I buy them, then I'm just gonna end up regretting, I don't know, I'm gonna end up regretting it, I feel like, cause I'm not gonna end up getting anywhere out of them. So we're gonna hit the road, and then we will hit the Adidas employee store on the way, and then I'll probably definitely be spending some money. It's so much weirder like vlogging while I'm talking to you guys, cause it's like I'm vlogging in front of people, but it's already gonna be, I don't know, it's gonna be seen by people, but it's still kind of weird, you know? It's like I'm vlogging like a room filled with like, you know, people, and it's just, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, so I've arrived at the Adidas employee store. I'm limping. Um, anyways, one plus side about the Adidas employee store is that if you are a veteran, you can get in anytime, unlike Nike, where you have to like basically be some kind of superhero to get in there. I'm not sure if this wind is infiltrating my audio, but of course, if you guys would like to see more videos like this, of course, make sure you smash that like button. I feel like there's gonna be hella people in here because the parking lot is packed. Time to start parking lot pimping, but let's get in and see what we find. I already might have to cop the black on black Tyro training pant. I actually like the previous Tyro training pant or Tyro whatever pant uh, because they had the lines going all the way down. These ones fit really nice, but they only have the lines halfway. And on top of that, the Adidas emblem is not embroidered. It's printed, so that's kind of a bummer. But regardless, these are always nice essential pants to have in the collection. And they're so cheap, half off. Literally, $22.50. This little striped hoodie right here is kind of fire. It reminds me of the Alexander Wang shit, but like, it's not the same materials at all like they got designer shit low-key i like this like wine burgundy colorway but 
I'm not gonna cop designers merch. I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. I need more Adidas branding like this, but this is a, a women's. And like low key, the women's always get the best stuff. Like look at this huge, fat, dope back embroidery. And then you got these little short shorts over here. Could you imagine if you, they had like some joggers like these? That creme de la creme colorway with the blue and the red. That looks so sick. So you guys know I have several pairs of these brand new, but I'm wearing the Nike slides right now, or the gliders as I call them. But anyways, they do have a pair of size nines with the white stripes, that nice little branding. I already got the black on blacks at home, so I'm definitely gonna have to cop these. These are $35, half off, so I will acquire these for $17.50. Anytime I come here, I always try to cop a pair of these. They have some pure boots here, and these are actually a part of the 50% off. Like some of the shoes, like these right here, they are not a part of the 50% off, so you still have to pay that 200 price tag. Same with this, you gotta pay that $200 price tag, but right here, you get these for half off. And a lot of these colorways are dope, but I just don't really feel like I'll wear them over my Ultra Boost. But still, you can get a pretty good deal on them, like 65 bucks. They got almost all the reigning champ shit here, though. Look at That's kind of fire. That black one's kind of fire. I don't really fuck with this bomber. I get the concept. It's kind of dope. It's kind of unique, but I don't know. I'm not really fucking with it. The best reigning champ stuff, in my opinion, is definitely like this stuff right here. It's kind of like a creme de la creme, heathered gray almost. I can't really quite tell which one. Then they got the matching crew neck. They got the matching sweater. And uh, they also have some shorts as well. I don't think I'm going to cop, though. I will say I like how they did the ankles. See that? No cuffs. Just clean looks. I'm gonna try these on, see how they fit, and then depending on how they fit, I might end up copying, but I'm not sure. Ooh, they have my favorite pant. I love the Z&E pants. Almost anytime, I, almost anytime I come here, if they have these in my size, I try to cop because normally they're 90 dollars. Ooh, ooh, they used to be 90 dollars right now. They're 70, which means I'm about to cop these for 35. I might even cop myself one of these ones, because I think this would look fire with like a white top or some white shoes in general. Oh my goodness. Now I will say this z &E zip up looks a lot better than the previous z &E zip up they had because the other one was like a knitted material. This is more like a, I don't know, similar to this material, but the problem is they still do not match. Like the blacks are just slightly different. I still might just mess around and cop this. I'm gonna try it on, see how it fits. Skirt won't be copping that because they only have larges and smalls, no mediums. I'm kind of bummed because I've been wanting this kind of material with the Z&E hoodie for quite some time, but whatever. I really like the R2 Prime Knits, but I do not like the R2s with the tongues on them. What? Why did they do that? Is that that new Adidas Gosha? I actually passed on the uh, Gosha job this morning. I had it in my car. I could cop, but I just decided not to. The only thing I really wanted from the Gosha job was the Gosha sweats. But, um, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling the Adidas collab this season. I mean, I was kind of feeling the nylon tracksuit, but just not the fact that it was nylon. Hey, look at those pinstripes. If you zoom in... If you zoom in on the pinstripe, it says, fuck you. Okay, normally, like, in thrift stores, when I film, no one looks at me. But when I'm filming in that Adidas store, for some reason, everyone looks at me, including all of the employees. So I felt really, really weird. Right now, my GPS is saying that I will not get there till 3.15 in the morning. And that's not even to L.A. That's just to Sacramento or the Sacramento area to visit my friend Charvis, which you guys will meet. Charvis. <laughs> so this right here is one of my bros from the military. He still lives out here though, near the military base because he's a, he's a preacher man. And he also runs an adoption home. There's 17 kids in his apartment, in his house, apartment, <laughs> house, apartment, whatever, same thing, tomato, tomato, guys. But yeah, basically that proved him wrong about Jay-Z's album last night, 444, it's a great album. I'm not even the biggest Jay-Z fan, but uh, yeah. I definitely taught him that it's a great album. I showed him that it's a great album. Who? <laughs> you. Anyways, it is like 8.13 in the morning. I got here at like three something. I'm exhausted, so I need to hit the road. Okay, so YouTube. I've been in LA for a couple of days. I apologize if the videos have been somewhat sporadic. I haven't really had the motivation to uh, do some of these videos, but I just wanna let you guys know I've been in LA, I've been having a good time, and I'm just 
kind of been enjoying my time here. But I do have some editing to do because I gotta get ready for SneakerCon, which is this weekend, and I'm beyond excited to create some content for them. Oh, also, by the way, I do have a video coming up very soon that I will be dropping. It's gonna incorporate some of like the vlog footage from the first days that I was here, and then I will do an unboxing in the beginning of that video, showing off some extremely dope shoes, some shoes that I think were somewhat slept on. Either way, after that, I'll incorporate some vlog footage, and I'll kind of figure out whether I like doing the unboxing and then incorporating vlog footage, or whether I like just mixing it in the middle, or however I want to organize these videos. I can never decide how I want to do these videos, and I need to decide soon. Now that I'm focusing, now that I've been editing more and more vlogs, I kind of miss just doing the unboxings, because the vlogs take so much more time. It's fun, but it just takes a lot of time to do. Anyways, today we'll be showing off a couple items, some pieces that I got. First of all, I got these Tyro training pants. Uh, Adidas Tyro Training Pant 17 model or whatever. Um, I did not get the black on black ones, I just got the white stripes. I may get the black on blacks when I go back if I stop by the Adidas Employ Store. Of course, if you want to see that, if you like this video, smash that like button. But I also got the ZE pant, I got this in a size small. I love the ZE pant, it's by far one of my favorite pants. It's so comfortable, it's amazing. For you taller individuals, it's probably better than for us shorter individuals just because they do fit a little bit baggy, but if you're in between sizes, I'd recommend going on the smaller size. Overall, I love the Zuni pant. I'm glad they dropped their price from 90 to 70. I've actually purchased them full price for $90, but I got these ones for 35. So anyways, the other two things I got was I got these slides, which you guys cannot see because I brought the box and I left the slides at Sleepy's house, so that sucks. And then also I got these socks. I got I got like a little three pack, three pack. Hey, what up? Anyways, um, but yeah, I love these socks. I've been loving these mid ankle socks lately. I don't know why. Maybe just because I'm weird. Some people don't like those, but I personally love those because I got some hairy legs. And when I wear the high socks, sometimes it just gets all itchy and just weird. And I don't know, man. I'm liking the mid ankle socks. But of course, if I wear high tops or like mids or anything like that, then I'll switch to the high socks because the ankles just don't work for those. But they do work really well for ultra boost. And then you still don't see no ankle when you're wearing them. You know, you just have the, the ankle covered up with the black sock, they got the little Adidas logo on the side so you can flex. Oh, and as for the Adidas slides, super comfortable if you can ever get your hand on those slides that you saw. I mean, you saw the slides in the video at the Adidas store, but if you can ever get your hands on those, I recommend them. They are way more comfortable than these pieces of garbage. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Like I said, if you like this video and you want to see another one on the way back to watching, then make sure you smash that like button. But once again, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.